Hello again and welcome to Cup of Joe Canada Media Edition. Today we're going to talk about why people hate the media. So let's talk about it. Uh, we have this wonderful article here from CTV. Uh, headline says, It's garbage. Infectious disease expert debunks facts not fear flyer. Okay, so basically there's a flyer going around. It's facts not fear apparently. Maybe it's anti-mask people, anti-lockdown people saying that you should know the facts. Don't be afraid. They're trying to scare you, etc. Now this guy... This person says that's garbage. The flyer's garbage. So, you know, he's going to debunk the flyer or she is going to debunk the flyer. So let's see how they debunk the flyer. Well, they start by uh, adding a little disclaimer. Unfortunately, with misinformation, you put some partial truths that give it a little bit of credibility. So they start off by saying, OK, you're going to find some things that are not garbage, despite us calling it garbage. So first claim, over 99 percent survive. While it's true that the infection fatality rate, which includes unrecorded cases, is probably around 0.3 to 0.5 percent, the flyer downplays the seriousness of the health risk, health crisis, sorry. Okay, so it's garbage because it's true, but it doesn't frame the information the way you like. Okay, we're going to move on. Second one, most infected have little or no symptoms. While it's also true that many infected with COVID exhibit very minor or mild symptoms, the flyer makes light of an incredibly infectious, uh, infectious disease that has put the strain on the Canadian healthcare system. So again, while it's true, you don't like how it's framed. Garbage. It's garbage. You, want it, you wonder why people don't trust you or like you? They tell you something true. You don't like how it's framed. You tell them it's garbage. The reliability of the PCR test. The flyer claims that the PCR test for COVID are notoriously unreliable, but it's not true. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to skip to the end on this one. Public Health Ontario reported that it had found a false positive testing rate of less than 0.01%. My problem here is just that uh, the, the Barbara Yaff, Dr. Barbara Yaff, Yaffe, she clearly on TV said if you test a population with little COVID, you'll get a false positive 50% of the time. And I haven't heard anyone sort of explain that away. So I get it. If you say it's rare, I believe it probably is rare. I don't understand how that was allowed. She still has her job. So you tell me. I, I don't know who to believe. But what I do know is that you're just saying things are garbage and I don't believe you. That's me. And lockdowns are harmful. Again, we get into it's true that there are potentially tremendous toll associated with lockdowns and health. But they aren't always unnecessary. Okay. So they aren't always unnecessary. You're then going to say, there's just a list longer than my arm of places that have done this successfully. It's not ideal, but it actually works. Okay, I did a video on this previously. What's a lockdown? You could tell me China did it successfully, Australia did it. That's not what we're doing. We're doing something different. It's called closing small business. It's not the same as actually locking down and isolating people. What the flyer is saying is that what they're doing here, not effective. You are conceding that there is very high risks involved and potentially great tolls, but you just, again, it's garbage. You're garbage. You're garbage. You think that? You're garbage. This is why people don't like you guys. And the last one, I'll give you a pass on this one, face mask eff efficacy. Face masks have been proven to help reduce the risk of coronavirus transmission, particularly in indoor settings. The flyers suggest they're unnecessary and unhealthy. Here's the thing with the masks, okay? they're not 100%. So again, the flyer is correct when it says it won't protect you 100% from the coronavirus. But it's clear throughout this coronavirus crisis and even uh, prior infectious disease issues that we've had, everyone wearing masks reduces the amount of spread. It doesn't stop the spread completely. It's not a foolproof thing. And they, they do also mention that too. It's not foolproof. So again, there's some reality to it. The problem that these guys have is just we want to frame it the way we want to frame it. And if anyone frames it a different way or doesn't frame it and just puts a fact out there, we're going to call it garbage. And we're going to expect you to trust us and to tune in tomorrow so we can tell you more garbage that you think. All right. This is why no one trusts the media. It's not because of Donald Trump. It's not because of anything else. It's because you guys continuously just, di just disregard and disrespect the people that you're giving information to all the time. 